We arrived in Modena this morning and uh, we've got a day and a half here. This is my first time to this city and uh, it's spectacular. It's definitely one of my new favorite places in Italy. If you plan to come here, allow for at least three or maybe four days here um, because there's too much to see and too much to eat. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of some of the things here, it's the home of, of course, Ferrari, uh, Maserati, uh, the smart car, Ducati, uh, motorcycles, also uh, Tortellini, although the uh, uh, Bologna will, will argue that, that fact there. And um, then, of course, balsamic vinegar. But it's a beautiful market right in the center of Modena. You can see they have everything, all my favorite foods. Porcini and chanterelle. Of course, I've got to work mushrooms into every video. I get the grape. I bring it back to the production side, the production plant. I squeeze the grape and I cook that in order to create the salad. I cook all the grape mass that I, I collected that year and I put, and usually we put it in a huge container called Badessa. We will see a Badessa later where we actually keep the cask. After making this, this step, you put the saba in the cask, in every single cask. Usually, traditionally, a set of cups is made of five or nine. It's always an odd number, never an even number. So it can be five, seven, or nine. Are mulberry, cherry, chestnut, juniper, and oak. These five are the traditional variety of wood that the people of this area are using for making the cups. They are also regulated by law. So the law is saying that you have to use this specific kind of wood and you have to use those specific variety of grapes. Uh, for your information, there are six varieties of grapes that you can use for producing the balsamic vinegar of Modena, but usually are used just the biggest quantity of, uh, of uh, this uh, grape come from the Lambrusco variety and the Trebbiano variety, which is the wine one and the black that we call A3 cask, we basically get our oldest product, one 100 years old age balsamic vinegar. Has been, uh, has been working since the 1800, so it's a very old set of barrels. And you can tell right now, starting from the youngest product, going up to the oldest product that are, is ready to be bottled. And so is it leaking out here? Yeah, it's barrel. completely natural and actually we want that because the fermentation part, the bacteria that are inside are eating the wood around. And uh, so the product will get all the aromas and flavor of the wood. Yeah. Acetaya means place where you produce balsamic vinegar. That they have a lot of wood. Why? Because they don't throw away the wood. When there is a that is really damaged, they just build another one around. So you can see here, oh, an yeah. old one over there, and a new one that was built all around. The consortium will arrange a blind testing by four or five testers. So balsamic vinegar maker, that they try, if they think the product is fine, the product can be bottled. The tester in the, the consortium will give the product a, a point, a, a score. If the score is over 273, the product can be bottled. In a bottle that is exactly the same as the matraccio, the small container that I showed you before. That bottle was made, was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro. Very difficult name to pronounce. Giorgetto Giugiaro is a famous designer and he worked with Ferrari, uh, Lamborghini, so important Italian company. He designed the bottle and the bottle has been used since the 1987, always the same. 1700 in this case, 1800 in this, in this one. Most of it are 80, 1800, 
This one is 1700 and the over leather is 1600, so really old one. The youngest bar is 200 years old. This is really cool over here. This is a box that was made originally for Pavarotti, who is from Modena. And um, you can see it has the different ages of balsamic and then the smaller bottles. Each one is aged in a different type of wood cask. It's really fun because you can taste how balsamic is with just that flavor of wood. The best flavor ever. I don't know how to say it, but it's delicious. You know I can't pass up some porchettas.